Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Sunday the 18th of October. Thanks again for watching. Um, latest output from the IRI, it's the plume of the ENSO prediction. So this is the forecast of El Nino from all the various different models. Each of the models are in a different colour on the chart that you see here. And then the mean of the models is shown in the shaded uh, colour running through here so uh, basically it's, a, it's an ensemble of ensembles effectively and what it's showing is a peak in the uh, El Nino looks to be uh, November December January and peaking up at around 2.5 and then you notice through next year these predictions for it to fall away quite sharply some of the models going for the idea that uh, it gets into La Nina during the summer months next year so um, it seems to now be settled on this idea of plus 2.4 to plus 2.5, which of course is where we were predicting it to be. Uh, we certainly didn't go to some of the extremes that were shown earlier on. And so it's a strong event. And compared to previous years, this is how it shapes up. Um, there's this year's event, which is probably going to end up up here. Uh, notice that the 97, 98 event was a little bit stronger as was the 1982-83 event. Uh, that was a little bit stronger too. So I think we're going to be seeing a peak here. But it's an event that's um, not happened now for uh, the best part of 18 years to be in such a strong pattern. So just to uh, take a look at what those previous El Ninos looks like, this is the sea surface temperature from December 1982. These are the anomalies. There's the El Nino look in the Pacific Ocean. And notice the cold water west of the UK and again here in the central parts of the Atlantic. Pretty cold as well towards the west of the USA. And 97 looked like this. Uh, again, there's the El Nino. Uh, but warmer water here in an arc to the west of the UK with cooler water off the coasts of the eastern parts of the states. Warmer water here off the coast of the western states. This is how we look at the moment. Um, so we've certainly got the cool water west of the country. But the uh, cooler water that we saw on the uh, 1982 El Nino chart, this cooler patch of water here is down here, of course, this year. And this, this area within here actually is warm this year and certainly a warmer ocean here off the Western Pacific. So although the event is almost as strong as those two previous years, actually the, the overall look of the rest of the oceans is a little bit different. Um, and of course it's the Atlantic which drives our conditions here. Um, what those ocean temperatures are tending to do is to lean into the idea of higher pressure, trying to, a tendency for higher pressure to get into here. But we have seen a warming take place around the UK and in these northern areas during the last few weeks. And I'm just wondering if this cold pool is going to slip south to be into here and then eventually into here. And if we do get that warmer water developing a little bit further northwards, then that puts us perhaps nearer that sort of pattern from 1997. Now, of course, there's many different factors that go into uh, what happens in the atmosphere as we go through the winter months. One of them is QBO, the quasi-biennial oscillation. And when it's in its westerly mode, uh, generally what we do is get stronger westerly winds. Now, this chart shows us the grey colours here show us the uh, westerly mode of the QBO. And um, the years are along the bottom here. When we get an easterly, it tends to lean us into a higher tendency of a cold winter. This was the chill in December 2010, for example. Um, and you'll notice here, look, that actually what it's trying to do, if you follow this pattern down here, is to probably get us into a westerly mode through the course of this winter. And it that kind of leads us into the more unsettled scenario, the stronger jet stream scenario for winter, and away from the colder patterns that are being suggested by many at the moment. Um, happy to stick with our winter forecast for now, which essentially is a north-south split across the country, um, with Scotland tending to be in the cooler, drier conditions, but the southern parts of the UK really varying between cool and pretty mild and also becoming wet and very windy across the south at times. Um, so we're happy to stick with that idea for now, particularly given where the QBO appears.
appears to be heading. Of course, we'll keep you updated right the way throughout um, here at weatherweb.net. But for now, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.